kind of don't don't curl your fingers. Just kind of look like that. Let right. us see it. When I was holding it, I would go like that. Don't with come my mom. Now be sitting like there. Let's see how. And it was a neat experience for me as a kid. So I believe that all kids should grow up with that value of being able to know how to shoot a gun, of being able to know how to feed themselves. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Hunting guide Paula Johnson knows it won't take but about 20 seconds to get these photos on Facebook. Christina, why don't we drag him over here a little bit better where we have a little bit better background. Okay. Her excited guest is Christina Contreras, a veteran of the War on Terror. This deer hunter, just a few years ago, was face to face with some of the most dangerous terrorists in the world. But this isn't the first time Christina has spent time with Paula. Christina is returning, so it's great to get to see her again. She was in our program last year with the Wives Program, and this year she's coming back as, as one of our warriors. Great job. We got two ladies hunting our own place. It was on this trip just two nights ago when Christina was caught off guard. Now I can tell my husband I've got one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own now. Here we have a backpack loaded with everything they're going to absolutely need to be a perfect deer hunter. It's how Show of Support founder Terry Johnson begins his Hunt for Heroes deer hunting trips, showering each wounded veteran with gifts. <laughs> the more we dug in the bag, there was binoculars, there was knives, there was Gerbers, there was hats, there was gloves, socks, flashlights. It was amazing how he thought of us, you know, and how, how this organization just, they're amazing. I kind of had an idea that he was going to bring out stuff, but I had no idea that he was going to bring out a gun. And that's when my jaw dropped. Because I thought that they they just did it at the banquets, you know? And I was like, you know, yeah, he's going to let us borrow his guns. I was like, I just care about going, going hunting. But when he brought out that gun, I was like, no way. And then I seen the, the homemade buck knife I was like, yes, I got one just like my husband. <laughs> it's like now he can't brag. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you. <laughs> so many things will happen to Christina on this hunt, not to mention emotional highs and lows, like so many of us have experienced when we go after whitetail bucks. I didn't think that, I thought you guys were just taking us hunting. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, all right, when are we getting in the stand? We're not politically correct, we just have common sense. Unscripted, unfiltered, unfaltering. Joy of Support's Hunt for Heroes offers tributes and true stories of remarkable courage. If these terrorists could come in your bedroom and kill you, your wife, and your kids, and that's what these men are fighting to protect us from, these, these murdering idiots, and uh, they're taking them out so that we don't have to deal with them over here. Show of Support started it all just after the shock and awe bound a nation together. Now, years of footage portraying wounded veterans, deer stands, and standing ovations. Hunt for Heroes that started as one man's way to say thanks is now a series that many say is way overdue. <laughs> this is something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. It's just a raw emotion. It's been like a dream. It really has. We still have 40,000 injured troops. It's going to take a while to get around to all of them, but there's no quitting. It'll never stop as long as I'm breathing. Commitment, leadership, it's a way of life for those who've worn the uniform. 
At Pioneer Natural Resources, we welcome those qualities. Veterans are a great fit at Pioneer, a company that values family, character, and a job well done. One of the differences about Pioneer is it's a company that wants to hire veterans and wants to show support for the service that they've done for our country. Contact Pioneer Natural Resources today. Terry called me about a month ago and says, hey, you want to go hunting? I says, yeah, of course. <laughs> I've been itching to go hunting. Good luck to you. Good luck. Game on. He says, well, we got a hunt coming up with another girl, and we would love for you to come out hunting at our ranch. I said, I'm there. <laughs> while biologist Mike Shipley will drive them to the blind on this chilly Texas morning. United States Navy veteran and Purple Heart recipient, Christina Contreras, has always wanted to kill a whitetail buck. Paula Johnson is Christina's guide. When I found out that she's gonna be my hunting guide, I was like, yes. I was like, I'll be able to joke around with her and all my husband said was, oh gosh, you guys aren't going to get anything because you guys are going to be talking, talking about shoes, talking about clothes. <laughs> I'm like, no. But I was excited that I found out that Paula was going to be my guide. It's been fun. I graduated high school and I want to serve my country. And I ended up being emancipated at 17 and joined the military. Once I got in, I, I loved it. I joined the Navy in 2004 as a military police. It was in the Navy where Christina met the love of her life, Brock Contreras. After a short courtship, the two married and have weathered the storm of multiple deployments and injuries. It was in San Antonio, Texas, at Brooks Army Medical Center, where Terry and Paula Johnson first met Brock and Christina. Terry, as always, was there, recruiting deer hunters for his show of support, Hunt for Heroes. When we first met them back in San Antonio at Fisher House, we thought she was the military wife. Brock was the one that was there in his wheelchair, and Christina was just taking care of him and being a good wife. So to find out that she actually was also wounded was, was pretty special. We didn't know who they were. Terry came up to my husband and started talking to my husband. He says, you like to hunt? He's like, yeah. 
So he's like, well, we're trying to get a group of people to take out hunting. Appreciate you. Y'all get in line, quick. <laughs> there should be plenty, but no, nah, there should be plenty. Thanks for coming out. So Brock had gave him his information or something and signed up, and that's when it all happened. All I could hear was Cody, as he said, all right, man, take the shot. All right, go ahead. It was life changing for us. Awesome. That whole trip was, because we hadn't focused on ourselves, and we had we hadn't appreciated ourselves, and we didn't think that highly, you know. And we felt like we we're alone in, in the world, with everything that we had been going through. Rock and Christina Contreras. And then to see come here and see so many people, and talk to them and meet them, and know that someone else is going through what we're going through. That's what felt the best. And then I was just like, wow, it's, it's just, oh, I'm going back to tears right now. <laughs> it was only a year ago when Christina came to Midland, Texas with her husband, Brock. Against the backdrop of a frozen landscape, Brock killed a great buck, and Christina experienced the show of support wives program. But in the back of her mind, she wanted to be on the whitetail hunt herself. She's in the U.S. Navy, and she was a guard at Guantanamo Bay, and was in charge of some of the actual bad guys that just got released back uh, in exchange for our American deserter. She was here two or three days before she mentioned she'd ever even been in the service. And then she mentioned that she had uh, also been wounded. I ended up going to Guantanamo Bay. I was deployed there for a year. Christina has fond memories of the people she served with, but the Islamic idiots she was assigned to guard at Gitmo, she has no affection for whatsoever. The only way I could actually describe them was like cockroaches. That's the only way I could describe them. Because they're infesting the U.S. They're infesting the world. As a prison guard at Guantanamo Bay, you don't have as many rights as, it, as the detainees do. They get treated better than our own prisoners do. They get classes. They get Pepsi, they get ice cream. They get special meals. It's mentally draining. The things that you have to hear and the things that you have to see change you forever. Christina's nightmares from Guantanamo Bay will be with her forever. The day she left Cuba, Christina vowed to try and forget the twisted Islamic extremist she had to tolerate every day. But it wasn't long before her own commander-in-chief kicked her in the gut. That story, as Show of Support Hunt for Heroes, continues. Stay with us.
rolling landscape of the Texas Hill Country, the Lonesome Dove Ranch sits right in the fold of a whitetail deer hunting culture that goes back centuries. I think just hanging out with, with everyone and getting to be able to be out in nature. I love hunting. Just seeing all the different deer, seeing all the different animals. The first morning hunt is over and Christina Contreras is following her guide, Paula Johnson, to try horn rattling with wildlife biologist, Mike Shipley. It's right here where rattling was born years ago and where at the right place at the right time, there's no telling what could come to the calcium crash. There's one thing Christina has found after leaving the Navy and leaving Cuba. In quiet moments like this, at times she can't predict, her mind starts to wander back to those days on post. Christina had been out of uniform only a few short months when she heard the shocking news that the Obama administration broke a long-time policy that the United States would never negotiate with terrorists. Christina couldn't believe her ears when she heard her former commander-in-chief worked a deal to release five dangerous terrorists for what some say is an American deserter. I was at my in-law's house sitting watching the news and I seen their faces and I walked out of the room. To release them for someone that we don't even know is if he's a traitor or not. It slapped every single one of us guards that have watched them people and have had to be told just outrageous, re horrible things from them and have to take care of them every single day. And to take the crap from them, it was just a big slap in the face. I, I, I hope that they, that they rot. Killing them is, is the easy road out. I would take away all their all their Pepsi and ice cream and all that crap, their satellite TV, their PlayStation. I would take away their their schooling. I would give them what what prisoners in the US get. As the days pass here at the Lonesome Dove Ranch, Christina and Paula spend hours and hours in search of an opportunity at a mature buck. It is early in the season and the peak of the rut is still about three weeks away from this area. Christina, however, is not one to give up. Part of the hunt is getting to know each other better and having fun with it and that's what this whole trip was about. Would you have shot that deer? Yeah. You should have been with me. <laughs> it doesn't make it easier when Christina has to endure another hunter bringing in the buck of a lifetime. When we came in last night and seen that Cam had gotten a 12 point, I was actually really excited. I mean, yeah, disappointed that I didn't get anything, but I was really excited that she had shot a big buck. The last night before Christina's hunt comes to a close, the pressure is on as show of support Hunt for Heroes continues. It's a well-known fact the people of West Texas know the importance of hard work, determination, and drive. For years, TCO Field Services has been a part of the expanding petroleum industry. Another well-known fact is the admiration West Texans have for America's troops. Plain and simple, military heroes don't have a better friend than the hard-working folks in West Texas. At TCO, we never lose sight of the job done by our military, keeping us safe here in West Texas. Smith Industries is a huge manufacturer of oil field storage tanks and heater treaters. With a massive inventory and a fleet of eight knuckle boom crane trucks, Smith Industries can produce, deliver, and set quickly and safely. When the oil field needs tanks, Smith Industries is there. Smith Industries, Midland, Texas. Military heroes don't have a better friend than the hardworking folks in West Texas. At TCO, we never lose sight of the job done by our military.
when I first got on the blind, I was like, I better get a deer today. I was like, if I don't get a deer, I'm gonna have to go home with my tail tucked between my legs and tell this to my husband. <laughs> and I was not prepared for that. And it was really windy. It was starting to cool down. So we didn't have that much time. I was like, man, what if no deer show up? It's like, I really hope that some deer start showing up. A change of plans and a slight relocation, hunting guide Paula Johnson has decided to move Christina on the final afternoon of her hunt to the highest hill on the ranch. Christina Contreras has counted the days since she received her rifle, and she's been jacking the same shell in and out of the chamber all week. Finally, there's movement up the hill among the farm equipment and feeders. When the first doe came in, I was starting to get really excited because I knew that if there's doe, then there's buck following. So I knew that something had to show up. So my hopes started rising more and more. We were watching probably about six, seven does, and it seemed like it was forever that we had been watching these does. And then that's when Paula was like, hey, there's a buck. <laughs> I was like, yes, I knew that there was going to be a buck following these does. She gave me the green light. She said, OK. At first, my heart was going crazy. And when we were waiting for him, it seemed like it was forever. So I was breathing real deep. And after a little bit of time, a couple minutes went by, it was just, it was driving me nuts. I was like, okay, I need to shoot this deer before it runs away. But it gave me time to be able to start controlling my breathing and be like, okay, I need to calm down so I can make this shot. It was almost like this, this buck knew that I was getting ready to shoot him because he would not give me a perfect aim. He would not go broadside. I took the safety off, I think, three times. What I was really afraid of was that it was going to get dark before I could shoot the deer. Every time the deer picked the set up, I thought it was gonna run off. When I seen the buck start walking to the left, I knew, I was like, this is it. He's good, we can get him. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Thank you. <laughs> Big breath. When Paul and I left the blind, it felt amazing, so then I could go see the buck. And I was finally gonna be able to see how big he was. This is my first buck. Is this your first and one? It's first time shooting by myself, getting a deer by myself. You did great. Terry gave me the rifle on, on Friday. And it took me until Sunday to be able to finally shoot the weapon. So I think, I think that was more making it more anticipation because I didn't get to shoot the weapon yet. <laughs> so that's, it made it even more exciting. Touch him, feel him, he's yours. Sorry, you're gonna be my dinner. Man, he's heavy. Wow. I let you eat your last meal. When I got his antlers in my hands, I was like, holy cow, this is bigger than I thought. <laughs> I was like, man, this is amazing. He's just huge. He's a beautiful animal. Just hunting here and shooting, shooting a deer was a bonus. It was the most fun I've had in <laughs> quite a long time. Yay! Woo! Woo! Look here. Your husband, yes! <laughs> 11 pointer. Wow. Isn't he beautiful? Sweet. You did? Oh, I yeah. didn't think 
Yeah. 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 See a pretty smile <laughs> on your face. Way to go. <laughs> Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that is cool. He is big. Well, does Brock have a picture of him yet? I already put it on Facebook uh, and told him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yee -yee. Oh, no. I told you, babe. <laughs> It's been said, the Texas Hill Country is a land of many gifts. On this chilly November night, Christina Contreras' dreams come true. It goes without saying that everyone always remembers their first buck. But here, with good friends, those memories are only made sweeter. The best way for me to describe meeting them and going on these experiences with them and having the opportunity, it was a godsend. There you go. Bright light. Yeah. Like smell pretty.